Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial what I want to do is I want to show you guys how you can checkmate the enemy king whenever this king is in a bad corner. So we know from the last tutorial that a bad corner is a corner where it's the same color as the one that our bishop travels on. So this king, the corner that it's in is a dark square corner. This is a dark square right here and our bishop is on a dark square. So this king is not in a preferred corner for this end game. Now we already know why, because you can't just um, defend the king easily. So let's go ahead and talk about as white as the attacker, what our goals are. Well, we know, first of all, that in this end game, in order to checkmate, what we need to do is we need to have our king essentially um, blockading these squ three squares so the enemy king you know can escape and then we want to take our rook slide it over and with our king defending these three and this rook attacking on the eighth rank that is going to be checkmate now of course that is all assuming that this bishop does not exist whatsoever however it does exist so it's not you know quite as simple as just a king and a rook endgame now, another key point that I wanna make is in order for this rook to slide over on the seventh rank, where it is right now, and then move up to the eighth rank, what it needs to do is it needs to travel across both color squares. So let's say that it was, you know, gonna move over here, then up here, well, it would have to move to a dark square and then a light square. All right, what if it just moved over here and then here? Well, then it would have to move to a light square and then a dark square. Dark and then light, light and then dark, tomato, tomato. So essentially, since we're fighting against a dark square bishop, we need to kind of travel in its territory while we are on the seventh rank. Now, of course, that's not possible because let's say we move to, I don't know, maybe a position like this. Well, the bishop can slide over here and protect us from giving checkmate right here. So this bishop is kind of annoying and we need to find a way to deal with it. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. The overall technique that we're going to accomplish this is that, of course, we want to get to the back rank, but this bishop is in the way. So what we're going to do is with our kings in this position where all we would need to do to get to the back rank and then it's a checkmate. What we're going to do is we're actually going to slide our rook down and start attacking this bishop. Now, what we want to do is essentially one of two things. First of all, it would be great just to capture the bishop. If we did that, then you know we're winning this endgame easy. Another thing that we can do to accomplish our goal is just to take this bishop and force it to move to a bad square. And a bad square, I mean in a position where it would essentially be out of the way, like you know somewhere like here, and then we can just slide our rook up and deliver this checkmate. So essentially, if we can get rid of it or we can force it to move to a place where it's not a threat, then we can deliver the checkmate and win this game. Now, as we are making these moves, another key point to note is that with each move, we want to make sure that we are attacking the bishop. Why is this? Well, if we just, you know, set up an attack and let's say we have a plan to, you know, move over here and then here and then down here. Whenever we make a move without a direct attack on the bishop, that's gonna allow this enemy king time to start running away. And of course, this enemy king is positioned in the perfect spot where our king is blockading the three squares in front of it, so we don't want the enemy king to move at all. So like I said, that's why it is very important to, with each of our moves, maintain a constant threat on this bishop. Now, if they just move their king, then we take the bishop and you know we win the game. So after this move, let's say that this bishop moves to h2. Again, like I said, what we're gonna do is just continue chasing this bishop until we force it to move to a bad square. So just slide our rook over to h1, and now let's just say, okay, this bishop is just gonna move to g3, and what are we gonna do? Well, we can just slide our rook up to h3, and then we kinda just continue this game. So the bishop is going to go to d6, and eventually they are going to run out of good squares to go to. So now we are moving over to d3, and look at this. This is a very critical position right now. In this position, not only is white threatening to checkmate by getting to d8, but we are also threatening if 
you know, the king just moves to take this bishop right here. So this is a very good position for white. This is essentially where we want to be. Everything is looking good. So now what white, or excuse me, what black is probably going to do is take their bishop and move it to e7, therefore defending this and getting out of the attack. And now what we can do is we can just move over to c3 and we are prepared to deliver this checkmate right here. Now, black doesn't have a whole lot of good options. Even Stockfish is saying, hey, let's just go ahead and uh, move the bishop to d8. Now, at this point in time, what we can do is we can slide our rook up to c8 and pin this bishop to the king. And now, of course, the king has to move. I'm gonna go to f8, and then we can just go ahead and capture the bishop and win this end game a king and a rook against the enemy king. I covered this in one of my uh, first videos, but there you go. So I know that was um, kind of complex, but in summary, all we were doing is this. We know that in order to checkmate with a rook and a king, we need to trap the enemy king on the edge of the board and attack it with the rook. Now, if there's an enemy bishop that prevents your rook from going to those key squares on the back rank, we just wanna go ahead and keep chasing it around, attacking it until we force it to go to an unsafe square. At that point in time, we can just checkmate, pin it, attack it, whatever. But that's essentially the main technique. And again, this is only when the king is in a bad corner. So a little bit different than the good corner. You may wanna watch those videos again until you get it down pat, but that is a technique. As always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next video.